Hello, here we are for the second hit session. I call it Pace 2. The concept is, as you may remember, three blocks of four minutes. And in between, we have some breaks, recovery time. In each block, we do the same eight exercises. And I'll quickly show them which they are. The first one is a, a back lunge. The second one is a front kick. The third one is triple side step with a tap. Triple side step with a tap. Triple side step with a tap. The next one is a squat upright row. Squat upright row. The next one is a crescent knee with a backstroke. Crescent knee with a backstroke. The next one is the heel tap. Heel tap. The next one is the side lunge and the last one is the star jump. Wonderful. Now, just a reminder, the first set we do rather easy, the second one exercise with more bite, heart rate goes up higher, then we have a pause again, recovery time and the third one you give it your best. That is within reason. There's no use of aggravating an inflammation or another ache or pain or an injury. But do it to the best of your ability, but also you may need to modify. For instance, the star jump can be modified like this. It is all good as long as you have the serious exercise. Okay, but before we continue, let me tell you again, we're gonna do some heart rate monitoring and for that, I have a stopwatch. Are you ready? Have you found your pulse? Where it is in your neck? And just a reminder, you can follow your jaw line down and gently probe there. And that's where you should find your heartbeat. Or you do it at your pulse, your wrist. It is on the thumb side. Gently push in this area and you will find a heartbeat. I'll tell you when to start. Start counting now. Stop counting. That figure that you have, a small number, multiply that by 10. Put a zero at the end. That then should represent a heart rate per minute in approximate rest. Wonderful. We are ready for exercise. I showed you the eight exercises before. I'll start the counter, but the first exercise is a back lunge. I start the counter so that I know exactly where we are at. Back lunge for approximately 30 second, seconds each exercise. Now, the, some of you may think, how am I going to intensify later on? At the moment, you don't have to worry about that. However, I'll give you a sample. Many of those exercises you can put a little hop in there. In the meantime, the time for this one is nearly coming to an end. So therefore, yes, we're going to switch over to the front kick. Please take note that with many of those exercises, when you have your arms high, that is a serious exercise for your shoulders. So arms high, but not necessarily your legs that high, because if you kick too high, you may actually overstretch your hamstrings. And that's not something that we aim for. Breathe well while you're doing this. A few more seconds. And we're going to do the triple sidestep with a tap. Triple sidestep with a tap. Triple sidestep with a tap. And again, we also do this for a total of 30 seconds. Normally I can swing a little bit more further to the left or the right. But for camera reasons, I decide to stay on this small space. A few more seconds. We go for the squat upright row. Try to make it a serious squat and not a bend. Yes, you're bending your legs, but little of the back itself. And with the arms, well, from low to high. Later on, you can lift your heels in the process or even put a little jump in there. 
But this is only the first block. A few more seconds. We go for a crescent knee with a backstroke. Crescent knee with a backstroke. Make it look grand. Few more seconds. Can you remember what the next one is? It's called the inner thigh pull. Here it is, inner thigh pull. Start with your arms high. Focus a bit more on leg lifting than on arm dropping. It is true, it's very tempting to take the easiest road, but you may end up with nearly nothing. Something like this. So don't do that. Make sure that you have a serious exercise. After all, that was the whole objective, wasn't it? A few more seconds. Remember that in the beginning we did a back lunge. Now we do the, do the side lunge. Make it a side lunge. Do something worthwhile with arm and leg. Also this one later on can be enhanced with a hop. Not a problem for now, right? So this is exercise number seven out of eight. That means after when this, when this one is done, you go for your last one. I tell you already now, it's a star jump, and we start off with that now. Star jump. However, if the impact is not right for you, then you can modify. So this is more or less an intensity that, you, that can make you last. This is not your all, but we, but also, we like to know how well you have done. We have a few more seconds left. Two, one, find your pulse. Start counting now. Stop counting. That figure that you have now, multiply that by 10 times. That again is a heart rate per minute, but after level one exercise. It should be higher, right? Wonderful. Just relax for a moment. Maybe you just want to move around a bit. Breathe deep. This pause in this setup officially takes approximately one and a half minutes. I'm not gonna measure that right now. But make sure that you take enough time for your recovery. Okay? Well, let's take an oxygen cocktail in the meantime. Take in the good stuff. Breathe in deep. Hold it for a second or two. And everything out. And do this in total at least three times. Okay, you have recovered. Okay, we are ready now for the second slot of four minutes. Remember, the same eight exercises, but with more bite. Are you ready? Excellent. Okay, I'm ready, you are. I'm starting my countdown timer. It is going. Please start with your energetic back lunge, and I mean energetic, more energetic than the first one. I am able to put a little hop in here. Some of you will be able to, and make it worth the moment. Now there's sometimes a confusion which arm meets which leg. It is ideally the opposite limb. So a left right and a right left meet each other. But that doesn't always <laughs> fall into place for everyone. A few more seconds. There we go, front kick. Looks like this, once again, have your arms high, legs not too high, and for those that have the energy, put a little hop in there. Are you breathing deep? Wonderful. Time is going fast when you're having fun, because we only have a few seconds left. And then what? We have the triple sidestep with a tap. Triple sidestep with a tap. A bit more energy in this one. Is that possible for you? 
Please make it so. A few more seconds. Tell you already now the next one is a squat upright row. And here we go. Some of you can lift the heels off a bit of the ground or even do a little jump in there. Does it work? Breathe deep while you're doing this. Nearly no bending with the back, but all from the legs. A few more seconds. And here we go. Crescent knee with a backstroke. If you need to jack up your pace, or if you think you're overdoing it, maybe back off a little. But don't be too easy on yourself. This is an exercise slot. A few more seconds. Inner thigh pull. Looks like this. Remember, start with the arms high and lift the legs with or without a hop. Do you hear me breathe? Do you hear yourself breathe? Deep. All good. Heart rate is going up. So this is the exercise with more bite. Go for the next exercise. Side lunge. Possibly with a hop. Or not. This is the second last exercise. Number seven. Or out of eight. A few more seconds. And then we go for the last one. Here it is, star jump. Energetic. Or modified. Or something else. It is important that you move. It's not so important exactly how you move. Last 10 seconds. Last five, three, two, one, and find your pulse. Start counting now. Stop. Times 10. Wonderful. Recovery time for you and me. So, how is your recovery going? We may as well help our recovery by taking another oxygen cocktail. Here we go. Please, breathe in deep. Hold it for a second. And everything out. Three in total of these ones. And one more. Well, talking about recovery, ideally our heart rate should now reflect that we have recovered properly. And for that reason, I'm asking you now to get your heartbeat again, your pulse, and let us put it to the test. So, you have found your heartbeat, Let's start counting now. Stop. That figure times 10. Ideally, this recovery figure sh per minute should be within the heartbeat per minute in approximate rest. If it is higher than 30 or the gap is bigger than 30, then ideally you should maybe wait a little longer before you go for the next slot. Now this slot, remember, this is more or less where you really push yourself well. But then again, intelligently, don't aggravate an injury or an inflammation that you have somewhere. And where necessary, modify your exercise. Okay, remember the first exercise is a back lunge. Yeah, this is your back lunge. 
We're starting now. I'm starting my countdown timer. Here you go. Are you doing your back lunge? A serious, energetic one. Back lunge. Here we go. Four minutes only. And less by now. This is your health investment. A few more seconds. And then we go into the front kick. There we go, front kick. Arms high, legs not too high. Breathe well. Are you feeling it? I am. A few more seconds. Come on, you can do it. Next one. Triple side step with a tap. As energetic as it goes. Few more seconds. Next one. Squat with the upright row. Hard, isn't it? Few more seconds. Press the knee with a backstroke. Everyone do it in their own way, right? Come on, you're over halfway. A few more seconds. And here we go, in a thigh pull with or without a hop. Arms are high. You're lifting your legs well. Last five seconds of this one. And then we're going to the second last exercise. Side lunge. Come on. You don't have to hop like I do. You can do the standard one. Do you think you should jack up the pace a bit? Because after all, this is your moment of glory. A few more seconds. Star jump. Okay. Or modify or do the butterfly, <laughs> whatever. Push yourself for the last 17 seconds, last 15. Come on, last 10. Five, three, one, done. Find your pulse. You've got your heartbeat. Start counting now. Stop counting. Huh. Was that the highest figure? Even though I didn't do the heart rate monitoring for myself. But man, you feel that? However, this is so good for your body system. It comes back alive again. Wonderful. Okay, make sure you recover well. Be careful with uh, stretches, but now it would not be so bad because you have plenty of blood circulation in your muscles. That's why I'm always a bit hesitant to do stretches when you have not seriously warmed up. After all, it is a challenge to any muscle. 
and the challenge with wind there is plenty of blood in there. And that's a good thing. You can do it in the shower, particularly when you have hot water on there. Wonderful. Okay. Well, that was fun. Thank you. We did it together. And uh, we'll see you for another exercise session. How about that?